Bitcoin right now is staring down a do or die barrier that could flip the market at the end of the week. What is it? Well, it's none other than the 50 week simple moving average or the 50 week SMA for short. So let's get right into this. I'm going to show you how Bitcoin has reacted historically in bull markets when it's either used the 50 week SMA as support or fallen below it for a weekly close. Where we're at right now with regards to it, what this Sunday's close for the rest of our cycle could mean from a historical perspective and why this time could maybe possibly might be different. So here's Bitcoin's full price history on the weekly logarithmic chart with the 50 week SMA added on. Now we'll look at the details, but here's the two point big picture takeaway. First, the bad news. So every time the Bitcoin has been in one of its major four year bull cycles, 2013, 2017, 2021, the price has closed below the 50 week SMA and that ended the bull run and marked the beginning of Bitcoin's next major bear market. Now, the good news, every time that Bitcoin is in one of these major bull market cycles and the price corrects down to the 50 week simple moving averages, uses that support and then closes above it, Bitcoin either makes a nice moderate upside move or it makes a major move higher into new all time highs. It is the line of lines. Now let's look at each bull run and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So here's the 2013 bull run and we're off the logarithmic chart now. You can see that Bitcoin held the 50 week SMA as support closed above it here, here, and here. The first two led to a major new all time high. And although the third was a dead cat bounce in the grand scheme of things, Bitcoin still doubled in price from the bounce to the local peak. However, look what happened when Bitcoin had a weekly close below this line, Armageddon time. That started the major bear market. Now let's move a little bit forward here. The 2017 bull market and the 2018 bear market. Bitcoin never touched the 50 week SMA before its major run up. It got somewhere close around here, but that was really it. However, after the blow off top, Bitcoin bounced off the line twice. The first time it doubled in price. The second time it rose by 54%. But like a ball that's been dropped and slowly losing momentum, eventually it dropped off the edge. Again, look here. When Bitcoin finally had a weekly close below the 50 week SMA in 2018, that started the next major bear market and led to the price going from, well, $20,000 down to $3,000. So